Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd do a review of Modular by Softube, uh, which is a uh, analog uh, Euro rack uh, modular synthesizer simulation, uh, or a piece of software that simulates the hardware of one. Uh, it's available in a VSDT. It does not run standalone. Um, this is an advantage that it's a VST. Uh, because if you want to use it to record music, it makes it much easier to use in a DAW. Uh, there is a free open source uh, a modular analog synthesizer called VCV, which is also very good, but it does not have a VST currently. It used to have one, but they discontinued it with a new version that they put out, but they're supposedly working on a new VST. Uh, but there's no telling how long that will, will take to come out since it's a piece of uh, open source software. Now, if you're not really that interested in messing around with a lot of patches with uh, a modular synthesizer, but you're just more interested in getting the sound or getting some unique sounds out of it, I'd probably recommend modular uh, as the software to go with because it does have a VST in it. And it has a lot of presets. If we go up here to the presets, you can see there are all of these presets here. Uh, this one down here at the very bottom is the one we have open. Or close to the bottom. This Tut Fig 2 Easy. And that's the most basic uh, analog synthesizer setup. It basically has just the core elements that you would put. Or the core elements that you need. Uh, but it also has some very complex patches and stuff. And so it gives you the ability uh, to use those in actual music. And plus you can start to mess around with it like that. With uh, VCV, um, when you start a new synthesizer, it puts up just the basic setup, which is pretty much what you see here. Uh, but it doesn't have any presets to it. Uh, and so... Uh, that's that's a drawback for that. If you if you just want you're more interested in just the sound of the thing and not really experimenting with it as much, modular may be the way to go. The other advantage to modular is they work with Dofer, which is the company, the the synthesizer company that actually initially developed Euro Rack um, format. And so Dofer kind of approves of these modules and how they sound. And so uh, I, I'm not sure if they sound exactly like the hardware. I haven't compared them, uh, but they're, they're supposedly very close or close enough for some people. But they are approved by Dofer, so they actually listened to them and helped develop the modules. So that's a, a bonus, particularly if you want to go to Dofer. Uh, if you're thinking of going to like Dofer as you, to start off with modular synthesis, you could actually uh, get this and actually get used to the modules. These modules are actually available in the hardware as well as the software. Uh, the big drawback to this modular is that you have to pay for any modules that come into it and they're, uh, they're fairly expensive, particularly if you need to buy a bunch of them. It only comes with one uh, VCO for example, so if you want a different VCO you have to purchase uh, a different one and uh, they cost, I think, average anywhere between 40 and $80. And I think some of the modules that come in with this are even over $100. So that's something to keep in mind. Here's a quick uh, example or test of some of the patches, uh, the presets that are available in modular to give you an idea of how it sounds. Uh, I'm just running a sequencer that's just running a scale uh, just to give you an idea of what the different sounds are. Here is a basic um, patch which is pretty much the minimal uh, modules you would have for a synthesizer or need for a synthesizer. Uh, so let's just start the sequencer up and I'll start uh, moving around the different presets.
So that was uh, some of the presets. I, I went through a few of them just to give you an idea of uh, some of the sounds uh, the software can make. Uh, um, that's by no means all the sounds it can make because it's emulating an analog uh, modular synthesizer. So you there are just infinite sounds and variations you can make uh, with the software. All right, so looking at this just kind of basic uh, synthesizer here. One thing that you'll notice is you look at it and there's no cables there unless you hover over it. If you hover it over it like this, you'll see the cables. And they disappear except these little dot, colored dots on the jacks indicate there's something plugged into them. Uh, I find it, I like it better uh, in VCV and other modular synthesizers, software simulations, where you actually see the cables on there like you would if it was a piece of hardware. Uh, there are advantages to this because as you can see the knobs easier when you're not hovered over it and you can always hover your mouse over it and, and hold it there to see it. So uh, it is an advantage if you get used to it. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed on this um, software that has to do with the cables is on VCV, you can disconnect from either end. Like this is the end going into the input. But here on uh, modular, you can't. Uh, it, it won't allow you to do that. But what you can do is you can uh, say click here and then move up over here and it will actually move it that way or it will replace it is basically what happens. So that may actually be a little bit quicker once you're used to it it's it's not too bad but you can't just you can't take the side out that's uh the kind of the output side you have to take the input side out and either totally disconnect the cable or you have to hook to another input and then stretch to the input cable and let that drop out uh so um that's a, a that's a, a feature you may or may not like. Uh, other than that, it's it, it's really like a, a little modular synthesizer. It feels like it when you're dealing with it and moving it around. If we um, click on here, you'll see all the modules that are available for it. Now the grade one out ones are ones you have to purchase. You can actually get a demo for them. You can purchase them, and it actually shows you where you can buy the hardware because these are based on actual hardware. So, so that's interesting as well. These two modules right up here do not come with the the uh, software standard. You'd have to purchase them or try a demo of them. Uh, they would normally be grayed out here, but I tried getting a demo of them and I got it uh, just to see what they were like. Uh, so normally you wouldn't have those. You'd have all these modules that aren't grayed out at the beginning and these are all the basic modules and they're dofer modules uh, down here you have uh, interfaces like midi interfaces uh, and uh, you have other um, controls and such that you can use in patch in as well uh, so there aren't as many modules available with initial um, software in fact uh, VCV, I believe, has more modules available in the initial kind of that you download, uh, and you can download more free. In fact, they have a couple of uh, VCOs and just the standard set from VCV. So uh, that's something to um, um, remember as well. So I think if you're mainly interested in just recording this and not messing around with it, Modular may be the way to go because it does have a VST in it and it does have a lot of presets. So you can see all the presets here and it goes way down here. So so you would have a lot of stuff to experiment with and then you could eventually get into messing with the dials and the patch cords on all the different presets. VCV only comes with it like this basic preset like this. So that's a drawback on VCV. Uh, and... Uh, and uh, so you, you kind of start out like this and you would have to learn patches or experiment with patches uh, uh, or maybe even you might be even able 
to get some patches from people online on forums. I have not tried that myself yet. Uh, so anyway, it's a great piece of software. I think it's great for recording. I think the VST part is exceptional. I think really the main drawback is the expense of buying extra modules on it. And uh, so uh, that that is something to consider. Also, there are other VSTs that deal with modular uh, uh, synthesizers. Uh, Arturia makes one, and it's actually called Modular 2, but that's actually a um, modular synthesizer based on an old Moog uh, synthesizer that's a modular one, and uh, that's pretty cool, but you don't have, you, you really have patches on that one. You don't have different modules you can can purchase, so it's a little bit different, but it's still the similar thing. You patch into different oscillators that are all kind of there and different filters and such. Uh, so that's something you might want to take a look at, get a demo of, and look at it if you're more interested in that. It's not Eurorack, though, so, so that's not like this. Uh, Reactor actually has a thing called Blocks, which is similar to this, and it has Blocks uh, modules that you can kind of plug in and patch with cables. Uh, but it just doesn't, it doesn't have the same feel as it. This really feels and looks like a regular modular um, uh, synthesizer. And uh, the, uh, the one from Reactor doesn't quite have the look and feel, although it still has capabilities that are very similar to it. And you can get blocks, the initial version of blocks for free if you want, and use that as long as you want, I believe. Uh, and then there's one that you pay for that has some more features and modules and stuff to it. So that, that's another alternative. So you could take a look at that if you wanted to. Uh, and, and I think that I think that's pretty much it for for m the main uh, modular uh, synths that you can get. Uh, there's also Model 15 that's on the iPad, uh, which is a modular synthesizer too from Moog, and that's actually a piece of software from Moog. Uh, so those are some of your other alternatives, but I think the two that are most like Eurorack. Um, modules are this modular by Softube and the VCV. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. And whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.